Okay, and we are on. So welcome everybody back to my channel. I am the Cauldron Witch, and with me I have guest starring. What way are you? Guest starring. Where's my hands? The Crescent Moon. Hi, Crescent. Hello. So How thank are you, you for I am good. How are I'm you? Very good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So tonight we are making, we are showing you in a roundabout way to make your own witches all purpose oil. What was the name we came up with it before? Oh, an anointing oil. An anointing oil. Yeah, all purpose anointing oil. Yes. So <clears throat> point is I should probably write that down. You Crescent, why don't you tell the people what 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 can you do with the anointing blessing oil or all purpose oil or whatever the fuck? Well, technically you can do just about anything with it. It's got what did we go with? Thirteen ingredients? We have thirteen herbs. Thirteen herbs ish. I mean, I include the dirt as an herb, I think. Yeah, yeah. But it's all same thing. All came from the came yeah. from the earth in a way. So we have yeah. thirteen herbs. We have two crystals each. We have two prefacing. We oh, use yes. parts in we this do. oil. If it's not your thing. You don't have to participate, and by all means, you do not even have to watch this video. Click away. We'll see you in the next one. But there is animal parts in here. We have two animal parts each, and that's it. Oh, and I mean, and we have a charm, which is a key, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which that is to basically unlock the ways to everything and anything. So we can unlock the power we need to manifest whatever our witch's heart's desires. And it sort of pays homage to our female deity. Yes, Hakate. Yes, yeah. Keeper of the Keys, Mama. Queen of the Keys. So she definitely is a matriarch for this oil. You can call on her. She is the goddess of witchcraft and witches and magic. You can use her energy if you wish to help enchant and bless this oil or whatever deities you want to work with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's interchange. Like it, you, this is specific to us, but anybody that wants to use it as a guide can make it specific to them or their deity. Exactly. With that being said, we'll tell you what we're using. We won't tell you you have to use what we're using. Right. By all means, use what you want. I preference that in every video. I don't give a damn as long as this gives you some inspiration to make your own. Yes. Have now, you ever? Oh. Go ahead, girl. Sorry, I was just going to say quickly that this is not like the end-all, be-all replacement oil unless you want it to be. Because we use other oils and magics. Correct. It's, this is just something that, like, if in a quick, hot minute, if you can't or don't have time to make whatever other oil, this one will incorporate enough stuff that it should be good for just about everything. Correct. Literally I just about. I was literally going to say that anyway, so I'm glad you took that off. <clears throat> yeah, if you, with that being said, yeah, you, if you make other oils great, as you should, if you come across, say you want to do some type of exercising spell, right? Because there's someone's house that has some, some type of bad, nasty entity and you need to exercise the house, but you ain't got holy oil or exercising. Why I thought that was a fire alarm. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My bad. It's okay. <laughs> it's time to party. Was that what it was telling you? Party oh, time. no, that's not what it was telling me, but it's well, good. Well, well. So, yeah, say you come across an intention, but you don't have that oil, oil for it. You use this. <coughs> um, <coughs> now, with that being said, we pretty much use the damn near exact same recipe with minor differences because we are individual witches. Are so, we? 
That's what we're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be. But god damn, we're just too much alike. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Not to mention our house be playing, both be playing Charmed at the exact same time every day now. Every day. Every day. But that's more me and me and hubbies. Because yeah. we, we excluded you on that. I know. I don't even get a choice anymore. No, you don't. You, you, he probably ought a whole brand new season. Oh, I you didn't even start the new season. Well, that he, you know. he just found out, or the uh, two episodes at least by now. Um, Chris is is Piper's son. That that episode just happened. And he was like, "Oh my god, they just found out!" And I was like, "Okay, great." He knew that. He googled it. He did. He and couldn't wait two damn days. Whatever. Impatient. Impatient. Well, well. Just wait, because that show is still such a good show. And there's, what, I think, like, technically two seasons left. I don't even know. There's still so much happening. Um. Anyway. <laughs> so, oh, yo, so what did we, okay, so I'm going to give y'all my recipe. She's going to give you your recipe, even though they're damn near the exact same recipe. So, we both have. You know what? I'll just say what's different for me. You say what's different for you. And then okay. one of us will tell them what we have. So what's different for me is two, one, one ingredient. Well, herbal-wise. Then I'll explain my crystal. Herbal-wise, what's different for me than her is I'm including mullen root. And this particular mullen root was, in a sense, gifted to me during my initiation into paganism, witchcraft, deities all that stuff you don't need that i didn't need that for anyone that wants to come for me it was just something i wanted to do to show my devotion appreciation and stuff like that but during that ceremony not this whole thing i have a giant thing of yeah it's a lot bigger than that that's just a snippet there. it's up there but yeah. yeah so this is going to be added because this in a sense is that point it can do anything i wish it to do along with my crystals i'm working with snowflake obsidian it's a little piece along with some volcano okay volcanic rocks so those are my two crystals <clears throat> both of them carry not only energies of my mother akate uh but they carry uh transformative qualities like alchemy like manifestation like witchcraft like what witches do so plus the power and strength that combines from both of them the element for this one the element of lava and wa water combining to create something different we have volcanic rocks from the creation of lava and molten so all of that energy to create help me aid in whatever i want to manifest and my dead animal parts i think the only thing that's different is i'm including snake skin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right because mm -hmm. we're both using dragonfly right yeah yeah okay so we're both using dragonfly i'm using snake skin that's my difference you shoot girly so <laughs> my crystals are clear quartz for enhancing you know just about anything you want to do and oh. obsidian so black um, absorbing normal. huh normal obsidian like i yeah, got snowflake what you got yeah normal just obsidian chips that i smashed up mm -hmm. it hurt my heart to do but i did it anyway um, oh it doesn't hurt my heart that's plenty <laughs> yeah that's true because i've done it with a couple stuff oh okay we're just talking about herbs or are we talking about differences well, in everything general? Everything. Oh, okay. Because I'm also, so I'm using a a wing of a dragonfly and cat claws or a cat's claw. Yeah. So that's my two animal parts. And then I am also using key dust because we didn't think the key would fit, but the key fit. So. It's gonna look pretty, and I mean, okay, are you using both? I don't have to. But no, you so, no, huh? It's already been enchanted for it, so. Oh uh, no! Then use both, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And I think that's it. 
Uh, no, your what's your herbal difference? Mine's oh. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. All spice. All, All spice. spice. That was my herbal difference. Okay. And yes. Our graveyard dirts are different though. Slightly. Slightly. But they're they're different. They're not exactly because someone the same. had to be bougie. I mean, really. Well, we all know who that's gonna be. <laughs> so my graveyard dirt is graveyard dirt collected from a crossroads within the graveyard dirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine's just plain old graveyard dirt. Someone just has plain graveyard dirt. Just plain dirt of the dead. It's fine. <laughs> um, ow! <laughs> I'm sorry. For everybody <laughs> wearing headphones. I just burned my knee with this. Oh, yeah. You do have shorts on today. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So now going into what the ingredients are themselves, right? We have, we're working with rosemary, melinda, well, you know, rosemary, rue, roses, and rose stem, specifically. Mm -hmm. You want those thorns. Mm-hmm be involved <clears throat> um mugwort eye bright frankincense and myrrh patchouli and lavender graveyard dirt mandrake root any type of hot pepper where's the camera boom yes uh crystal wise we discussed that animal wise you're gonna want whatever you want and again, make sure you have a key of some sort, be it an actual key, key dust, whatever. I believe your key is going in the bottle, right? Yeah, mine fit. Mine did it. So I wrapped by it. Which that's still a great idea, though. Yeah. No, yeah. <coughs> I hope you liked that idea. It was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. She said, oh, such a great, who came up with that? I know. So small. <laughs> um, okay. So, okay. Now, with this being said, everybody, all of our stuff has been enchanted. We did the most of the work. We just we didn't do the final enchantment, obviously, uh, but everything has been enchanted. So, when you see us add things and have our own little enchantments along the way and wonder why it's not so big or mighty. It's because we already did all that. Yeah, we just spent an hour and a half doing that. So Literally. Literally? <laughs> was it that long? It, I think so. It was real close. Yeah, all right. Um, What's your oil, boo-boo? Oh, I'm using grapeseed as my carrier because it's light, it's clearish, and I have a darker jar, so that will allow some of the herbs to be seen. Show when the it's... people the, oil, the jar. The jar. Okay, so I'm using this. Look at that goddamn jar, guys. Yeah, I think it was a Halloween pickup from like two years ago. Well, that is the best fucking Halloween pickup. I want that Halloween pickup. Go to your local store, because I'm sure somebody right now has it. Not dollar store, I was just there. Yeah, that's true. No, I think this was Walmart. I have to go to Walmart then. Walmart or TJ Maxx? I can't. I'm at those two places the most, so I don't know. TJ Maxx, I believe, because they're fancy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Right. That's what I'm using. So you're using grapeseed oil. Mm -hmm. But was there, I'm sorry, was there any specific reasons behind that? Like Just because it's clear. Wise? It's clear. Okay. And it's, it has a decent shelf life, but I'm also not making a whole lot because yeah uh, yeah um but um i like the fact that it's a lightweight oil and it holds scent really well if there are like fragrances or very fragrant herbs like the patchouli we're going to use yeah. hopefully that'll permeate and come through yeah. along with a couple of other things so that's the only reason really N nothing magical just yeah. it's lightweight and it carries well wait <coughs> Um, for me, I'm using a jojoba oil, which is technically not an oil, but a fat. Mm -hmm. And that makes me just think of like ancient times. Um, <laughs> literally. 
where it's like we're obsessed with that time period or something. I think so. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Jojoba oil, as far as I'm aware, technically has no shelf life. It is just whatever. Use as if long it, as you want it. Yeah, if it does, it's like stupid long. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I mean, that's why I'm going with a bigger bottle. Besides, this is an oil I'll probably be using a lot. Even with that being said, even if you have other oils, there's nothing wrong with anointing the candle with this first to bless, amplify, whatever, and then add your dark arts oil, death oil, blessing oil, holy oil, whatever the fuck oil you want, a fucking oil. Uh, let this also, if you want, set under the full moon, dark moon, all the moons, the sun. The planets, your ass, I don't care. <laughs> okay. But this, honestly, I don't even, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to smell. I don't know if it'll contain the fragrance as well. We're going to find out. I don't know. This is an experiment. Yeah, it's fine. But this is the, this is probably my favorite oil to be using, even though it costed me my entire torso and lower half yeah. of the body. That shit is expensive. Yeah, we already know why. Yeah. So. Definitely. Would you, should we start adding things? Do you want to go over the other L thing we haven't talked about yet? Um, I'm going to have you start because I don't know. Okay, so. That did not land in the garbage can. No, I it didn't. wondering. No points. Um, so last night on my channel, on that slapstick freaking video we put up. We, wait, before you say it. <coughs> Never mind. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there. the other aspect to this that might bother some people is there is blood in this work. And there's blood on the work, there's blood in the work, there's blood on the candle, there's blood, there's blood in the work. So that is another thing you do not have to add at all. God. You don't like it's just like it's my personal power boost for me. It's his personal power boost for him. It is not a requirement. You do what you want to do. You can spit in it if you want to, whatever you want to do. With that being said, listen. Go, everybody who's watching this video, if you haven't already, go subscribe to the Crescent Moon. Her link will be in the description down below. We just posted a funny-ass video. Don't ask us what was wrong with us. We were sober. I we were. Clarify. That video we started to sober. The proof. I don't know. We were that. sober. Um, But for our behavior, we have no excuse. <laughs> um, but it was great information. And as she was going, watch those videos. Also tune in for our next video, which is probably going to be the Dark Moon chat next week. Yeah. With our lovely brand new co-host. I love you, girl. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Click, click. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> blood. The Sangris. We're going to refer to it as Sangris because <clears throat> why don't we don't need to get flagged or anything wrong with that because people are like disgusted. Or because it's against guidelines. I don't know. So we're going to refer to it as sanguis. And know that sanguis is blood in Latin. And again, it's nothing. Again, none of these ingredients you have to use, including that. We, like she said, perfectly fine. This is our power boost. Nice. This is something we both feel that will amplify any intention we work. And something that would protect us from anything that is not ours. Yeah. If that makes sense. Nothing, only us would be able to affect the magic that this is produced. Right. So, <clears throat> that being said, use at your own free will. If you are going to use it, be safe, be smart. Um, I will throw a tidbit out there. Landsets, Amazon, I love. You can get a whole fucking box. Cheap as hell, it'll last you forever. Yeah, get that one. I mean, get whatever you want, pain tolerance wise. We we think that is the best one, not mine, that one. What what G is that? 21. 
21 G needle. I think that's the one that gives you the most blood. Sanguis. Jesus, that's going to be hard. Um, that'll be the one that give you the most sanguis. We're pretty much done with talking about the word with the B. You know, it's fine. I hope it is. It's going to be fine. Why did I just do that? I guess I just I just opened it like I'm going to use it. Okay, well. Well, I guess it's open, so I'll just save it for when we do use it. Yeah. Because we are going to be, you will see some enchantments. Like I said, you're going to see us add ingredients. You're going to see us, I mean, literally add the ingredients to the jar. But also certain things we didn't or couldn't necessarily enchant at the time. We will be enchanting in this video. Especially since I cannot edit. <laughs> Me either. Okay. I tried at one point to edit. and It just was so time consuming. Oh, I don't, I, the, I don't edit at all, actually, <clears throat> at all. I did so. like three or four videos. Did we talk about the familiar hair? Oh my goodness, Phoebe! I don't even know if I'll be able to add that. I don't even think she's in the house. Hold on. Talk about the familiar hair. Let me see if she's outside. Okay, so now again, this is one of those, um, you do not have to do, if you don't have a familiar you don't have to have a familiar. I mean, it's not, it does not hurt your practice one way or the other to have one, to not have one. A lot of people incorporate them like we do. Um, it's just, again, an aid in your power. It can be a protector in your power, a protection for, protector for your home. So every, every, part of the familiar's job goes into the DNA, right? And the DNA is in the hair. So you take a little couple pieces of hair and you incorporate it into the oil and therefore your protector is with you all the time. Don't hurt your fucking animals to get what you need. Oh yeah, don't do that. Oh, I'm just, you pet them, they shed, you get hair. Literally, literally. If it's a, if it's a reptilian, wait till they shed. Yeah. If it's a bird, wait till they drop feathers. Do not... Good advice. Good advice. Um, with that being said, I literally open the door and I see Phoebe in the darkness just run right to the door. She knows what's She's like, let me in. <laughs> no, really. Um, okay, so familiar hair. Yep. You no, know, okay. With that being said, if you don't have a familiar, uh personally. This is our recipe. This is what we would do. You decide what you would do if you would even include this. What we would think is best if you do not have a familiar black cat hair, black dog hair. Black feathers. Anything black. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Oh. I'm getting ready to get off this damn stool and sit on the floor because this is getting uncomfortable. But I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to tough it out by doing this. You got it. I got it. It's fine. You got it. So uh, I think that was, I think so. Yeah. I just happened to look down and see that at the very bottom. Okay. All right. No, cool. Okay. Um, right. I look in the journal just in case we're missing anything. Yeah. I've got mine right here. The only thing we haven't talked about is if we were going to discuss what we're what we're saying, oh. why we're saying, what we're using. Yeah, the incantations? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So let's talk about the incantations real quick. Um, do you want to, which one do you want to talk about? You pick. I'm guessing the one you can pronounce. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so i can't pronounce that it's a passage in the bible we're gonna leave it at that okay so yeah. i believe it's zephania zephania mm -hmm. verse two that's it yeah so running verse two and what it is or what it says is i will completely consume and sweep away all things that is the verse we're using for this it's um like a double play you're completely consuming it you're taking over it but then you're also removing all of it 
you're just it's gone whether you want to create or destroy yeah kind of thing you can either consume or sweep away brain yeah. in or brain out the yin and the yang again yep polarity balance of polarity all right so shall we begin yes Okay, we got to win. Okay. All right. Let me get, now, listen, y'all. You're going to need a funnel depending on your damn jar. Y'all come after my funnel. <laughs> Where is my funnel? Uh, It was on the desk. You just put it on the desk. What? This is the, what? Huh? Where? Oh, I found it. It's on the couch. Okay. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. We're good. Okay. So, let me in my damn funnel, y'all. I'm wondering if my funnel is even going to work. We're we doing full jars. Full jars. Huh? What? Full jars? Full, like, are we going. We can't go all the way to the top. We're putting too no, much. No, yeah. We're, don't use too much because you don't want to clog the herb. And that's something yeah. for everybody else. You don't want to, even when you have, because again, we have a lot of ingredients. This is a max type of recipe, 13 ingredients and more, whatever the hell. If you're going to use more ingredients, don't add so much because you don't want to clog the oil. Yeah, because you can always add more oil. Exactly. Okay. I am going to say the sanguis et potentia. Sanguis et potentia? Yes. As I'm adding each herb, just to show, I guess. I'm going to stop there. Take the stem out because it's clogging the way in. So I will add that last. I'm gonna do my myrrh. Oh, should I mute while I'm chunking stuff up in the mortar and pestle? Uh, I don't. All right. All righty then. I don't give a damn. Well, I was worried about you more than anything. Oh, no. Even more, I don't give a damn. I didn't want to be distracting. Girl, don't you worry. I see your point about this mortar and pestle and the myrrh. Yes. Beating the hell out of a holy incense, Jesus. Or holy resin. That's why the mortar and pestle I'm using is literally perfect. Well, I literally don't have that one. Okay, well, you literally need to get it. I will literally take my ass to GJ Maxx or wherever. Yes, DJ Maxx. Are you using the mortar and pestle I thought you were using? I mean, yes. I thought we had the same one. Yes. Yeah.
completely consume this I got a question. Talk to me, Mama. Are we are we the rosemary? Are you leaving it whole or beating it to hell? Uh, part I'm gonna leave whole, part I'm crushing. Okay. Like in my hand, though. Mm. Okay. Like I'm not gonna really turn it into a powder. Yeah. Oh, I just wrapped the patchouli. Um, better gonna have more. Yeah. Now I'm gonna it on a tissue for the most part. Well, that's good. Enough for the oil. So, what do you guys do on a Saturday? We just do witchcraft. <laughs> we just do witchcraft. So, what would you throw me out some things you would use this oil for, girlie? Oh, goodness. Like, how do you see yourself using this oil? Um, well, since I do a lot, a lot, a lot of candle magic, and it's, it's not ever, you know, I mean, it's not always something bad. So, I do this for, like, protection over children. Um... I think we could have used. I okay. You remember when we did the work for Andy? Yes. This would have been a good one for Andy. This would have definitely been a good one for Andy. You could like to anoint a pendulum or something like that. Pop it. Pop it. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Honestly, house blessings would be good. I don't think I would do. I don't do many of those unless I have to. But with my when I do warding, I could. I would do this with my warding. Yeah. I would use this on doors, windows, whatever. Okay, I can't stand it. I gotta pull my hair up. Oh my. My hair, my hair is so gorgeous, guys. It's hot. And I'm getting whiny about it, apparently. So, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Baneful magics. Nay, nay. That's really not one of my favorite things to do. But, point is, <clears throat> you want to anoint a puppet. You want to anoint uh, uh, needles. Say you want to curse some needles. Say you want to maybe get in the mind of someone. All these things, this oil should be able to help you do. And it also, again, unlocks the ways to... Again, even balance, keep the balance of the scale. Keep balance in the scales of the universe. And it's also why we have hot peppers. Yes. Oh, that's it. Yes. Thank you for touching on that because I forgot. The that's what it also helps hot heat things up and gives us strength and firepower. Yes. Because sometimes you just got to burn a bitch. Yep. 
It is what it is. Let alone, this could also help people astral project the dream. Yes. Eyebright, mugwort. Mugwort, yep. <laughs> Excuse oh. me. Yes, that, bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, grazie. Um, astral is something that we've talked about a lot recently. Astral, lucid dreaming, and remote viewing. And this would really help with all three of those. Absolutely. And hell, we've been talking about, about it so much. Tell the people what our next chat is going to be about. Um, the next... Is that the, the one coming up? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, it is about... Oh my god. Why'd you put me on the spot? It is astral, it is astral and lucid dreaming, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And remote viewing. And remote viewing, yes. Which, and the differences in all of them. What? At the differences in all of them. Yes. And why it's okay if you can't do one, two, three, or any of them. Absolutely. You get hung up in that. Let me tell you. Was I on camera? I hope I wasn't. Let me tell you. Girly here. One of the best remote viewers I've ever fucking witnessed. <laughs> I don't think I'm the best. Yeah, you tell that to all of the things I have. You have found. I'm just a finder. And it's not. And it, look, we also talked about, sir that each witch has a natural gift or predilection or pull or whatever and not every witch is good at everything right absolutely mm -hmm. no every witch has their skills amongst the powers yes because you sir okay this isn't boast people night you started it Hey, I was being nice. Oh, well, then I won't be nice. How you like them apples? I mean... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see you. Rub away. Rub them raw. If you want to tell the people, you can tell the people. I just feel like you're one of your talents. Like, the one that puts me kind of like not in shock. It shouldn't shock me, really, but I hate this angle, by the way, because I don't have a neck. Um, oh, my God. Can you stop? No, uh, I'm not going to stop. Anyway. You know, what's funny. I see a neck and I wouldn't be able to even like if I was an artist, right? I wouldn't be able to draw you without the neck. What? You heard me. <sighs> anyway. Back on to stroke his little ego is he can spell cast like a fucking champ. I mean, it just flows. He got he's got like he can lay it out and have it done in like no time at all. Hardly in an effort and it's fucking beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's she's just being nice now, y'all. Yeah. I'm not being nice. I'm being honest. Uh I love you, girl. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. I mean, everybody's good at something. Where are you at, by the way? Did your goddamn phone die? Bitch.
Okay, I'm back. How long okay. was I out for? Like just a couple seconds. Yeah, I was. I was getting a call. Um, what was the last thing I said? Oh, I would. I had just been nice, and I said, "I'm not being nice. I was being honest." And um, then I, you went to say something, but it didn't even catch it. I don't think it just cut off. It's nice to know, like, hey, maybe I'm just not crazy. It's nice to think, like, hey, other people can see it and sense it. You know what I mean? Or at least it's confirmation for what I do. Or and recognition, I guess. I don't know. No, it's both. Because, like, the so, okay. Where are you at, by the way? How many of you? Huh? You not see me? I can't. No, no, not that. Like, where are you at? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my God. You scared the F out of me. Actually, I'm about to add the last three herbs. Oh, shit. I'm behind. Leave me alone. Where are you? I don't want to talk about it. I was oh, enchanting okay. again, like, like just to make sure. Huh? I was doing little enchantments just to make sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, absolutely. Um. Okay, so what I was going to say, um, uh, you, yes, you're good at spell casting, but, like, I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say something. Something about it's both confirmation and recognition. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, you do sometimes, it's like. Um, sometimes you need that. Well, I guess you don't need it. But it's good to have confirmation when, you know, okay, yeah, one person has seen you maybe manipulate something. Or you've been able to throw down on a spell and it's come to fruition and you can see it and have confirmation in the work by the work. But like with with the little things that I can do, it is interesting to me. One, everybody's reaction is different. Two, everybody likes to test me, which is fine. Which, and then, huh? Nothing. I was nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. And then, you know, some, some, it doesn't go over well with everybody. And, you know, sometimes you kind of question your own sanity with it. Is it like, is it somebody you're super familiar with? So you just know your way around their house, their yard, or whatever. But it's different when you've never spent, when you've never been there. Right. So it's, it's interesting though the the different reactions. Trust me. But you know, yeah, I mean, it's it's very humbling. I will say that because why? What do you mean? Because the craft for me is something that I, it's always been a natural thing for me. So to hear other people say how not like to so like to hear other people see it and everything, it just shows like I am doing things. The way I'm meant to, and and again, it's not like I'm wasting my damn time because we're in the Delulu state. I'm sure some witches question their sanity sometimes. I'm sure if they don't, other people do. Exactly, but you know what? As witches, we also see the magic work, even when, or other even other people will even see the magic work, even when we don't for ourselves. Yeah. And again, sometimes magic really is that, like, what the fuck just happened? That was ma that was some magic. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. The feelings you feel even during spellcasting, like, I don't know about you, but the feelings I'm feeling just even making this oil, like, I wouldn't be feeling this if we weren't doing this. Right. No. I wouldn't, like, it feels very connected, if that yeah. makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Um, it was, you know, earlier on when we were alone, not that we're not alone now, but you know what I mean? Uh, it was very heightened and a yeah. lot, uh, there was a lot of potency in the air. Well, that could just be us also. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this is right now. So I just want to say this also because of what I'm getting ready to put in here. If you have animals that they scratch your furniture, your carpet, or 
you, whatever. Hopefully that would never come off on you. But I, I, my cats, because they hate having their nails clipped, they will pop them off. Yeah. Like, you know, and I just go around and I pick them up yep. and I stick them in a the little jar. Yep. I did not take Get them, them off your fucking cat. <laughs> I couldn't if I wanted to, these little monsters. No, right. They would kill us. Oh, my God. I don't know what I have done to Aphrodite to make her hate me right now, but my God. She's a... That food bowl was just a little empty, a little too long. You've seen how big she is. She's fine. I know. That sounds just like Bundy. Like, what are you meowing for? You're not, you're not hungry, brother. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You don't want to starve. I see. I see it fast in your future. Um, so listen for the sangris, mm -hmm. I'm going to add, so we're adding seven drops. I'm going to add it along my mullen root. Okay. Okay. So at least it's still in the oil. 100%. Should I add the rope back to the key? Uh, I cut it off before we talked about it. Are you talking? Oh, uh, I mean, if you're putting it in the jar, I don't see okay. why you would stick. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do it. All right. Well, my key is getting ready to go in. That was the last thing. Oh damn! I still have crystals and dead animals. Wow. Wow. Damn, yeah. You know? Sangrisa, potencia, sangrisa, potencia, sangrisa. Yeah, I hope that was enough. We might have to do that again. One. Two. Some glues. Some glues. Oh, that did not land either. Sangrisa, potencia, sangrisa, potencia. I have a solution if you need it. Huh? I have a solution if you run out of blood again. Or er, sanguis, shit. It's okay, and it's okay. I just broke my finger again. Okay, well, have you done the bottle yet? What do you mean? Have you put it in the thing? That's what I'm about to do now. Okay. See? Oh, well, maybe okay. I shouldn't show okay, Yeah, I probably shouldn't show that. Yeah, just in case. I mean, it's too late now unless you're going to edit that out. Oh, it's fine. Uh, but, yeah, did, did you see it? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This this video, I don't know how long it's staying on. It's okay. I mean, it's a personal practice. <laughs> yes, it is. You ain't keep trying to excuse it. Justify it. Just, I mean, look. It looks like ketchup. <laughs> it's ketchup. It's ketchup, yo. Why? What did you think it was? Right. Get your minds out of the gutter. Shit. Fucking weirdos. God. Real 
talk though. I've seen much worse on the YouTube. Okay. I have seen so much worse. On, I've Wait. literally seen Sangrois on YouTube. Yeah. So like I ain't studying it, but it's not my channel either. So it's I. Sangrois wiped. I, I can't. I can't show you. Wiped on the side of the jar on the inside. Well, that's what I was going to say. I just, because my finger wasn't doing what I wanted to, I just pushed against the jar on the yeah. inside. It'll work. I'm sure when you pour oil on it, it'll take it. Oh, yeah, because we're going to shake them up anyway. Yep. I mean, honestly, it's apple to you. Phoebe, where is your bitch ass? Because I lost her here. Phoebe. Phoebe. No, not you. You're a pro. Where's Phoebe? He's hunting down his familiar. So, any hootie, uh, while he's doing that, this is about as all purpose as you can get, and it covers just about all your bases. If you need it in a pinch, you have it. You can write it in your grimoire whatever you notebook, whatever, and you'll have it forever to know what you used one time versus what you want to use the next time. So it's a, it's a you do you situation. And it's, he'll probably say the same thing once he gets back from chasing his familiar down. Did I you got get her. It? Okay. <laughs> I missed. I need a back massage from a little person that can step on me. That was so specific. Well, yeah, I don't want a large person stepping on me. Jeez. <laughs> You ready for your oil? I'm guessing you already added oil. Mm-hmm. 
I did mine backwards. I added my oil first. No, you did not. I sure did. Oh. I sure did. No, you did not. Well, we didn't have a specific order. No, you did not. Jealous. 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 You don't even exist to me. <gasps> you do. You remember the line? Stop playing with me. Oh yeah. The, okay. From craft, the craft, whatever. Yeah. Okay, let's see. There you go. Oh, oh, no, let's not do that. Are we dribbling? We were dribbling. I mean, it's very good for your skin. Let me tell you what. I mean, yeah, it's great. Actually, it's just gonna. There you go. No, oh, yeah, it's perfect for you. That's why it also costs you an arm and a fucking leg and a fucking other leg and another arm and your torso and your thighs and your booty. Get these, all your arteries. Yep. Good fit in now. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Okay. He's just loose. Go slow. If I go slow, it's like a pouring dribbling. Oh, you gotta go fast. You're almost there. A little more. Yeah, we go. There we go. God damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's good for you guys. For You're very life. moisturized. You're very moisturized. Can you stop? <laughs> No, we will not have it. We will not have it. <laughs> oh, we're having it. I started it. Yeah, we're having it because you did start it. I did start it. Get your earlobes. You got a woo saw. Do it, do it. You don't want know. There you go. Yeah. We're in the live of the altar with a little jojoba. I'm glad we're not on live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now let's. Where's my cork? Oh, one thing I forgot to add fragrance. Oh, be hello. Hello. What did hello. We, What do we want? We want drag. I. Uh, what do you want? What What are we feeling? Dragon's blood or patchouli? Patchouli. Why not both? Fine, fine. I gotta get a little dropper, and I don't worry. I don't know where my little plastic ones are. Let me see. I'm going to snatch one from another dropper bottle. <sighs> a little of this and a little of that. You do this thirteen times. And there you have Wow that looks like nothing. Can you see it? There you have mm. your witch's oil. Can you see it? I do, I do, I do, I yeah. see. see. I should have used a clear bottle. Huh. Whatever. Oh my God, Crescent! What? 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 Can you get how long this video has been? How long is it? How long? <gasps> An hour? Oh my! God. We can't do how did, anything. How did we do this? Uh, I don't know. You know what? It is what it is. It's out there. 
Unless you want to edit. You could. You could take some time to edit this down. I don't know how to edit. Do you know how to edit? Um, I mean, if we use iMovie, yes. If we, okay, then. Bet. Oh, now I get to it? May or may not be cut down. Okay. If it's over an hour, you guys know we couldn't edit. Right. Well. But. You know, it's a great video with the great witches. So, yeah. And who wants to sit there and let somebody just read to them and list off ingredients and be boring? Exactly. This is like a hangout fish. Oh, literally. You get so, for the most part, watch us make the oil. Minus a few things. Minus. Completely consume and sweep away. I, I, I mean this thing. Consume. Oh, I said it right. I will completely consume and sweep away all things. Completely consume and sweep away all things. Completely consume and sweep away all things. I can't see mine to save my life. It's in there though. It's like Heinz to make ketchup. I love watching you work. Oh my God, stop it. So, that is, okay, also, purple candle. You can yeah. scrub it with a pentacle for witch's power. Anoint it with sangris. Sangris at potentia. Get it? Blank and power. Yeah, that's your, which is all-purpose anointing oil. Yes. Totally adjustable. Is there anything you'd like to say left to the peoples? Oh! Mm, good catch, bitch. Good catch. This damn thing. It's it's almost, we're, we're, it lasted long enough. It did. It really did. I feel like, no, little, I, I feel like we covered everything. Mm. Plus, 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 plus. So. Mm. Well, with that being said, guys, that's basically how you make your own witch's oil. All purpose anointing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Crescent, thank you for joining with me, showing the people, making things with me, being with me. Yes. I love it. You're very welcome. It means a lot to me right here. Wait, yeah. It better. Oh, it's it's better. Better. It's a... oh, cheers to the. Cheers to thee. And all who was here. Chuck it. Okay. Okay. Aggressive. Uh, the, the monster came out. It, well, you you have been aggressive with me all day. So, well, there you go. I guess that's what I get. Exactly. So, everybody, you have a wonderful day or night, what time it is. And join us next week for the Dark Moon Chat going to be a live party chat and we will see you there yes bye guys bye crescent thank bye you. we love you thank you love we'll you. see you in the next one yes <laughs>